just heard from George Kittle, and now number 97 himself, Nick Bosa, taking a seat down at the table. The former Defensive Player of the Year. Nick, what's going on? Marcus Boucher, pleasure to meet you. We'll get those headsets on for you right now, and we're good to go. We'll get you lined up right here, live on the Sports Leader. Nick, we were just talking to George about yesterday, first day putting the pads on. That's got to be a different type of feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely changes things. Uh, in football, uh, you could be a good player in shorts and t-shirts, and then um, you see who the real players are when you put pads on. So um, it changes things a little bit, and you get to see who's really ready to hit. Yeah, it's something that we talk about every year with the combine. We joke about it being the underwear Olympics and how guys are showing off their athleticism. But talk to us about the athleticism that actually translates to the game. I mean, you're one of the best in-shape players in the entire NFL. What's your off-season workout program look like, and what do you try to do to uh, improve over the off-season? Um, I, I kind of take like just an overall athleticism approach in the off season. I'm not necessarily working, uh, too much on, on specific football stuff. Uh, me and my brother are down in Florida and our trainer's big on sprint training and, uh, flexibility work and strength training. So we're in the gym every day. We're on the field. I'm um, just trying to get faster and stronger. Yeah, and it's actually something I've seen with you and your brother being at UFC fights. And I'm always curious. I've seen different defensive ends, outside linebackers, try to incorporate some MMA, some hand combat into their routines, whether it's helping with pass rush moves. Have you ever thought about training or incorporating any of that type of stuff? Um, I haven't thought about it. I'm just a big UFC fan, yeah. so uh, being able to and our our agency is owns the UFC okay. WME, so um, we get good seats. Um, me and my buddies go and and sit front row and see those shows, which are unbelievable. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite UFC fighter? Um, I like a lot of guys, but uh, I mean, I really like Pereira right now. Okay, um, he's fun to watch. Yeah, Alex Pereira. Yeah. Nick, how how nice is it to to have the contract stuff done and just be able to focus on football this season and throughout the off season and just just work on your game, work on your body, and come back ready to to dominate. Um, it's a huge relief. Uh, definitely, a lot easier going into a season when you know when you're going to show up to work. Um, you could kind of structure everything around that and. Um, I mean, it's a stressful, as, as good of a problem problem it is to have. Um, as you can see, I mean, it seems like every year we have a guy going through it. Uh, it's stressful, and it wears on you more than you would um, even think when you're not being able to do what you love to do, and then um, you feel like uh, you're letting people down or you're missing out, and you don't know when you're going to be back. It's a lot that goes into it mentally, so... Having that out of the way for a good few years is, is huge, and now I can just focus on getting better. It's kind of a new-look defensive line for, for you guys. Are, are you used to being the, the elder statesman of, of the group in a way, at least in terms of being here specifically? Is that a little weird? It is weird. I, it's hard for me to look at myself that way um, because I still feel like a young guy. Um, but um, I'm the oldest guy, or not the oldest, but the the longest tenured in the D-line room with Kevin Givens. So um, it's it's cool. It's an honor to be a part of a team like this for so long, but uh, it's definitely uh, different. Yeah, now you've got your first chance to see these guys at the first padded, padded practice yesterday. What are your thoughts on Leonard Floyd and a guy like you, Tor Gross Matos? Um, I'm super excited about those guys. I think uh, they're picking up the scheme really well. Obviously, Floyd's proven himself in the league uh, over many years. Um, so he's he's just continuing to get better, especially when you impl implement him into the scheme. I think guys like him who are super athletic and long, um, when they come play in a scheme like this, it brings the best out of them. Um, and then same with Etor, he's huge, way bigger than I expected. Um, he could set an edge, and um, he's going to be—he's going to help us a lot. How much of being better uh, against the run is, a, is was a part of the the focus in the off season and looking looking toward this season? I think it's always big. Um, I think for us as a D line, uh, whenever you could stop the run is when you're going to get those ops to rush the passer and. Um, 
Um, just coming together as a whole defense and being able to stop the run better this year, um, it's it's always number one. What what what's different just in terms of you know from a fan perspective, they don't always they, they notice things are different maybe in terms of scheme, but they don't totally know exactly what what should maybe a fan look for this year that's different from the way you guys operated last year, if anything. Um, I don't want to give anything away, um, but uh, generally. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we're just going to be more tied together all all around. I think last year um when when one unit was was doing their job on a play, uh the other unit kind of gave that offense the the outlet. Um so I think it's going to be suffocating. Yeah, last one before I let you go, Nick. I wanted to ask about your relationship with Brock Purdy. Last year we saw some pretty cool mic'd up moments in the locker room. You guys having some private discussions. Just talk to us about that relationship and how it's built over the last couple of years. Um, it's been good. Uh, obviously started off with him just being another um, third string uh, QB that you you uh, you get to know a little bit, but you don't really expect to be um, be around that long. Um, but over the years, just he hasn't changed, which is really cool um, for somebody to have that much success and um, the money that's coming. Um, he's stayed exactly the same, and uh, he's just a really even keel, um, mature, good, good person. So um, um, I think we're all extremely lucky and extremely happy to have him on this team. Yeah, but I will say I think one thing that has changed with Brock Purdy is the size of his legs. I've heard <laughs> Kyle reference the baby Bosa legs a few times. Are you giving him, like, workout tips or your leg program? No, that's natural. He's got it. Uh, he's, he's got the sauce. He's got the you baby got Bosa it or you legs. You don't? Is yeah. Exactly. Uh, there it is. Nick, fun stuff, man. Appreciate you sitting down. Best of luck to you this season. We look forward to covering you, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. There he is, Nick Bosa, number 97, sitting down. We'll take a quick commercial break. 